know, one thing people are going to do when you die and pass away, you know, people are going to talk. Them are going to talk about how your house never paid off or your house wasn't yours, a rented house, and now you're dead and gone, your family are get evicted from the house. Them are going to talk about how you set up GoFundMe or your family can't afford for burial. Them are going to talk about how you never have any health insurance or life insurance policy. Them are going to talk about how you're dead and gone and you used to splurge when you was alive and now you pick me them, you're not even left a ripe banana give them. So you pick me them, they are suffer. People are going to talk, you know, man. They are going to talk. But hear this. You dead and gone. The dead don't give a damn about what the living is talking about. You understand? Right. I used to hear an old man in my community when I was growing up in Jamaica. They say, after me dead and gone, you know, you know can't take the body and fling it, get junker. Just fling it over there so make junker and yam it because I don't care. I am gone. I am not in there. <laughs> hey. Now, truth be told, everybody, I think, hopes for a decent burial. Or a decent disposal then. Because I dispose, they are disposing of what is left of you. Because it's no good no more. The carcass, the flesh is going to start to rot and smell soon. So they have to get rid of it, right? Right. But we call it burial. And we pretty up the dead meat or the dead body or what's left of. And we put it in our casket and we put it in the ground. Some people cremate it or whatever. Long story short. There has been all kinds of talks that Gullibop and Gullibop's family is not able to financially foot a funeral for him, which we're going to get into in a minute. Before I do that, shout out to the people who tune in to SoFlo TV every morning for your daily morning thoughts. You know that once a week out of these days, I normally take that day. Sometimes I give you the bonus and go ahead and do it, but I normally take one day. That's the one day I have to regroup and regather and, you know, put some proper material together for you guys to have for the rest of the week, including Saturdays and Sundays, right? Because you still get videos on those days, even though we don't go live. Now, there won't be a morning thoughts this morning. However, there will be a series of videos that will be uploaded to the channel today just for you. All right. Now to this story. Shout out to the Jamaica star. It seems like some kind of back and forth argument has been going on between Amari. Amari, who is a past lover of Gullibop. Uh, even at one point, they were engaged and they both publicly admitted that they were engaged to each other. So it's not a hearsay thing. They lived together as man and woman, as a partner and you know, things never work out for them. It was a tumultuous relationship and quite comedic and also quite frightening. It was a roller coaster ride of emotions watching Gullibap and Amari when they were together. You know, one minute you were laughing with them and the next minute you wanted to call the police and tell the police to go over there and do a welfare check because you did think that so. one of them did kill the next one, right? But fast forward now and this is life. Amari Chamberlain, the sister, uh, or Anne-Marie Chamberlain, Amari, name Feng Chu Young, something like that. Ama Anne-Marie Chamberlain is the sister of Gullibop, and she has come forward to refute statements that were made by Amari, Anne-Marie, Amari. It sounds alike, Anne-A-N-N-M-A-R-I-E, Anne-Marie Chamberlain, that's Gullibop's sister. Amari is the social media personality, the one where they got on Sting last year and she and Queenie catch up on them, something there. Anyways, she said, now Amari first made a claim and she made the claim publicly saying, I actually spoke to Pastor. I asked, what about his children? They're broke. What about his son? Broke. What about his mother? He said, everybody is broke and nobody has anything to give towards the funeral. 
This is according to the Jamaica Star. They did an interview with Amari after Gullibab's passing. And she is claiming she spoke to everybody. The pastor says that the children, the mother, everybody in the family is broke. Nobody has a dollar to give towards Gullibab's burial. However, however, that might not be true. Because Anne Marie Chamberlain, who is Gullibab's sister, has come forward. And she said, what the hell does Amari know about our financial status? It's not like them close. It's not like they're in cahoots with each other. It's not like she's a part of their family. She don't know none of them personally. She's reaching out to a third party to find out about the family and the family's financial status. So what the hell does she know about us, about our financial status? What is she talking about? I am his sister. I follow him. Amari cannot lift up a little finger. <laughs> when she said Amari cannot lift up a little finger, you know, well, it kind of seemed like what everybody is saying. You know, Amari did well stout back in the day. Stout is an old word for well chunky. She was a, 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 a budoof buff. Remember when we used to say kukum kum? Uh, that was a maga girl or budoof buff. That was a big fat girl. She was a budoof buff back in the day. Yeah, then we changed it to fatty. Yeah, she was that. And now Amari looked like um, olive oil off of Popeye the sailor. Popeye the sailor. You know, all of that old cartoon. Right, so she's lost a lot of weight. Not making fun of her weight loss because I honestly think that it looks way better on her than all that weight. Even though people have fun and jokes to say. But she does look a bit weak. Like she can't really to lift up her finger or nothing. So she is saying that Amari can't even lift up, can't lift up my little finger. You know, she don't know nothing about us. We're not holding up any offering plate or any saucer, passing it around, begging for money to bury my brother. He passed away. He died following years of battling various illnesses, including complications from a hernia, blocked tubes, kidney-related disease, all kind of something. You know, some people are actually saying that they think Gullibop was misdiagnosed and they think he actually had cancer. But... That's for another day, all right? There have been calls on social media and other platforms for his loved ones to provide assistance. But his sister said that the expenses are already covered. People out there actually making up their own. Please help Gullibop get a decent funeral. Please donate some money so he can get a proper send-off. But the family, his sister is saying, we didn't ask anybody to do any of that. And that is not us asking anybody to do any of that. So clear up the rumor. We are not passing around no offering plate. We are not begging anybody nothing. And the last person you want to believe what they are saying about us and our financial status is Amari. Because Amari does not know us like that and knows nothing about our financial status. Someone of a reputable nature, this is what she said. She said someone of a reputable nature reached out to them already and said that, don't worry, we will take care of the funeral. And I said, I would at least handle the burial aspect of it because our mom wants him to be buried in Dovecot. Now, we all know who Gullibop is. We all know he rose to fame in 2014 after his freestyle video went viral on social media and he went straight from the gully to the money. And then over time, it seemed like it was a wild ride through superstardom. Get visa, travel, fly out, seen a few foreign places, heard a few fans scream and speak in a different accent. He was out of Jamaica. And then it seems like things fell apart. Two tumultuous, well-publicized relationships and the stardom faded and he went right back to conditions that looked like he went back to the gully or where he was before. Gullibop came on and over the years that he was slowly going downhill, he still tried to 
mask it as we don't know what people are talking about you know me good and he had a van at the time he had a vehicle he had a place to live you know and he was saying that because he's not touring flying out people feel like he's dead and or he's back in the gully but he wasn't he was doing super well well you can only mask certain things for so long and then after that the truth reveal and the truth now has been revealed that gully bop himself died financially poor right and had nothing to no 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 big check is not left behind no property and all these things are not left behind uh and and on top of that his family are now saying it's a lie they don't need anybody's help somebody of a reputable nature already reached out said they're gonna handle the funeral but you know i said to myself what if that person of a reputable nature that is alleged by the sister to have reached out and already said they're gonna handle the funeral what if they decide to not do it for whatever reason they have their own emergencies come up them can't do it or are they the family still gonna be able to give him a decent send-off that's the thing knowing how jamaica still gullibar probably wouldn't have a problem getting a proper send-off I don't think it's gonna be a quiet funeral because Jamaica people love eggs up and everything is a party. So I can imagine his music being played. I can imagine people dancing. I can imagine people showing up. I can imagine people just being there to be part of the festivities. Cause we don't send people go a grave crying and mourning anymore, you know. We send people, me see people a wine pan casket. Me all says people open the casket and a girl sit down pan the dead man in the casket and give him last back as wine. Back it up pan the dump a chuck. So, hey, anything can happen. Either way, at the end of the day, the rumor, Gully Bob's sister wants it dispelled. They are not hurting financially to put him in a good burial. They have it under control all right so don't listen to what amari is saying according to her don't listen to what amari is saying according to her it's all good bop will be sent off his mother wants him buried in dovecot and that is where he will be laid to rest and his funeral is taken care of this is a lesson for all of us put your affairs in order because you don't know the minute or the hour it's funny growing up as a christian child we always hear Bible verses quote, and we always hear put your affairs in order. If you've been hearing put your affairs in order since you were seven, eight, nine years old, or since you died the day of your knee, and now you're grown, have all children and grandchildren, and you're still hearing put your affairs in order, I think you've heard it enough to start to listen now, because you yourself are that much closer to that place, that time that destination where we all shall go shout out to everybody tuning in and this is just a short video an update dispelling a rumor may golly bop rest in peace and may life continue for the rest of us and we take and learn from this put your affairs in order again there will be no morning thoughts live today but we will definitely be very festive on Friday morning for those of you who have not gotten your membership please go ahead and get your membership to the channel so you can be in the chat room whenever we go live right now if you don't have your membership you're only allowed to access the chat once a week one day right and I know you want to be in there more and for the rest of you I appreciate all the donations and all the charitable givings and you can grab you a piece of merchandise right off the channel from underneath the video just look under the video you will see right now we have our all white running with only one black hoodie and it's our 2023 end of wear there's some shoes or slippers there and then some shirts and a hoodie grab one and be a part of this all right it always goes to a good use thanks in advance and i'll catch you on the next video it's so flow TV. I'm out. Peace. All right, my SoFlo TV audience. You know, I've been wondering for the longest, why has Jamaica not gone totally solar yet? After all, Jamaica has.
powerful sunshine all year round and people are in darkness in certain areas especially in rural areas and they've been that way for decades waiting on government to install street lights well Saninka solar lights these are commercial grade lights perfect for rural areas perfect for dark corners and lanes perfect for the backyard the front yard down the road driveway lighting stores perfect for the farm waterproof and remote control make your surroundings safer jamaica has sun all year round and you will have no problem keeping these lights charged did i mention that they are commercial grade and they are remote controlled you don't have to wait on government to install lights some people in some areas have been waiting for decades literally decades and they are still in the darkness these are easy to install get in touch with Seninka and they will do the rest for you and the best part is this you don't have to pay a monthly light bill no this not gonna bother you like a JPS bill because it's charged by the sun so take yourself out of the darkness now increase your safety now get in touch with Seninka Solar and thank me later come no man watch there all the contact information is right there for you ig email phone number which you can call by whatsapp which is free globally go on get yourself out of the darkness and into the light 